What's up, guys? I'll leave her back with another video. And this time we had some more Sonic figures right here. As I said in the last video, I said I would make more. And I was guaranteed to make at least one more. And now all of a sudden I'm working on three. So yeah, I've been kind of busy with that. First off, we got Silver. The Hedgehog. Really hated character, but I always liked his design. Uh, I have no problem with Sonic 06 really. I mean, compared to the uh, current playstyle of Sonic, I mean, I really prefer Sonic 06 over the uh, newer ones. At least you have control of your character compared to those, so. Yeah, Generations was pretty much the last one for me. But yeah, Silver's almost done. I did this sculpt really quickly, actually. Didn't take too long, and I'm really, and I really like the back right here. Uh, uh, it's just uh, based off the Sonic 1 and Shadow 1, so. Yeah, yeah, really like how it turned out though. Did a pretty decent paint job right there. And everything is sculpted, the eyes, the mouth, everything. <laughs> and it's of course removable. And I added this piece later on because I really didn't like how it looked without it. It looked kind of empty. He needs to have that like fur going around his neck. So I just added that and I think that looks pretty good. So the torso is done, currently working his legs. Gonna pretty much finish up this week. If I'm not too lazy, because right now I start on Blaze right here. So we're going to see about that. And Jet right here is the one that has my focus, because I'm really amazed with how I did this. Like, this head just looks amazing. Look at that. Like, I'm surprised that I actually managed to sculpt this well. Really am. Especially the beak. I first sculpted a piece underneath. Uh, Cured that and added top piece right there, and it just turned out amazing. The eye on this side, though, kind of sticks out a little bit too much compared to this one. But it might actually be the same, but this one just turned out a little bit messy, but eh, it's fine. Like, uh, I kind of get, I kind of get lazy like that when I mess up sometimes, but try to do whatever I could. And if it's really that bad, I can just uh, put a knife in there, just pop that eye out, no problem. And then he's got that red and black at the end of the eyes looks really nice and I think the goggles actually were like the hardest part on this figure I had to remove them a couple times uh, but in the end I think it all came together really well I recently finished up his legs the paint job and everything they're varnished uh, really happy with them not overly detailed or anything like that just some simple red and white shoes some black detailing and his chest it's also finished varnished uh, I'm probably going to make his tail. I'm not too sure. No, I cut a piece of paper. I'm probably just going to stick that in. And just have it stick out right here. You know, nothing too special. But, yeah, I think I want to do that. If not, I'm pretty much cool with how it looks right now. His arms are almost done. I painted the wrist parts white. Now I just have to do the red and the black. And then the arms will be done. So the figure is pretty much done. I'd say tomorrow or something. And the newest one right here that I started on today. Blaze from Sonic, obviously. I think she has a really cool design and all, so that's why I actually wanted to make her. And I just got some pieces lying around, so what the hell. Right now I think I've sculpted everything that's this uh, violet color. Is that the right word? I don't know. Is it called violet? I, I really don't know. But yeah, pretty much going to do the piece right here that's tying her hair up right there uh, probably the ears then and the uh, darker areas right here lastly the mouth because it's white actually that's gonna be kind of weird you know it's gonna be white and then white eyes so I'm gonna have to be really careful with that now that I think about it uh, probably gonna mix it up a little bit probably gonna mix the color a little bit so it's kind of like dirt white or something or just slightly off compared to the eyes so yeah but so far, like, the base is done. So we're going to see how this is going to turn out very soon. Hopefully, I'm not going to mess up. Also, right here, I made a new sculpt for Eggman. I did two more after the video I did last time. I really just want to test out my skills with the sculpting. And I got to say, I got a method down to sculpt the Eggman heads now. So I got three. So I got three. Four, including the old one. But the first, but the one that I showed you last time, you know, it's re it was really big, just really tall and all. Uh, this one really looks like the Sonic Adventure one. 
like based off that model. So I'm really happy about that because Sonic Adventure 1 is my favorite game. So, yeah. Really happy this turned out. And, and I found the drill. So now I can probably, so I'm probably going to try to make the uh, Hornet, I believe it was. I don't even remember the names, but yeah. The first Eggman boss in Sonic Adventure. So that's going to be kind of fun. I don't know what else I'm going to make. Uh, I mean, if I don't have anything else to do, I mean, except the anime customs and stuff, I'm probably going to keep on making these Sonic figures. I mean, if there's a specific one that you want to see in minifigure form, just leave a comment down below. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Share and like the video around if you liked it. It would really help me a lot. And I'll see you guys next time. Mm, bye.